Shout out to D Green with this man. Hey. Okay, so we're back again looking at these rigged 2K24 ratings. Now, we're actually a little past halfway the regular season. There's actually less than 40 games in the regular season. So let's see who Ronnie and Mike Wang are cheating out of their ratings. And let's see who they're deriding. <laughs> so you can't make this up, bro. While I'm reacting to these ratings right now, you guys' fucking servers are down. Niggas currently can't even play this game, bro. Shitty ass game speaks for itself, bro. Dog shit servers. Jaden Ivy, an 80 overall. I mean, you're an 80 overall, but you're literally like on the worst NBA basketball team of all time. So I don't really know what to say about this. How are the Pistons so bad? Respectfully, their roster isn't the worst roster of all time. So how is their record so shitty? They actually have some decent casuals on their team. But shout out to Jaden Ivey. Jonathan come in ya, a 80 overall. Is this deserve Warriors fans? Is this deserve flight reacts? Y'all are officially saying that Cum Inya is better than Iggins, Wiggins of Andrew. Because last time I checked, Andrew Wiggins was like a 77 overall. This is officially the end of the Warriors dynasty. Because currently Cum Inya is hooping better than Andrew Iggins of Wiggins. This is actually awkward to see. But shout out to Cum Inya. Russell Westbrook at 81? And here's where the fucking disrespect starts. Westbrook is at 81. Fuck you, Ronnie. You guys are doing this man so dirty. Now I understand Westbrook's shooting badges are not there. His three-point rating is not the highest. But no way he should be a 81 overall, bro. This guy has to have 99 hustle. He has some mid-range badges, defensive badges. He has the stamina, bro. No way this averages to an 81 overall, bro. And I'm not even a fan of the Clippers. I just hate to see players get cheated out their ratings, man. So you're telling me that Cum Inya is basically the same as Westbrook? I know it's like a meme to like joke on Westbrook, but this shit has gone too far, bro. The Westbrook disrespect will no longer be tolerated, man. That shit was funny like two years ago. Now you niggas are dragging it. Fuck you, Ronnie. Westbrook is respectfully at least an 84, bro. If he was an 84, I wouldn't even be on y'all's head right now. Jalen Williams at 83. Bro, the Thunder have been hooping. Bro, everyone on the Thunder's been hooping, bro. They're currently number one in the Western Conference. There's nothing I can say about this, bro. Shout out to the Thunder. Remember when they were literally like the worst team in the league and now they're one of the best. Nothing but respect. Barrett of RJ at 82 overall. I mean, this is fair. Can't really get mad about this. It's not too high. It's not too low. But we all know the Raptors will never ever win a finals championships ever again in franchise history so congratulations on your 82 overall rj d'angelo the snitch russell <laughs> a 82 overall damn he was a 79 at one point bro i did see that the last time i played 2k this nigga's not even a starter he got benched for austin reeves that's tough. Bro, did y'all see when Nick Young called him a 
bitch because he was crying? Bro, Nick Young is still holding that grudge of when D-Lo snitched on him about cheating on Iggy Azalea. But respectfully, D-Lo's been hooping, so 82, eh, I guess. I felt like it was actually disrespectful for him to be in the 70s at one point. He should have never dropped below an 80. But shout out to D-Lo the snitch, Russell. OG in the booty is a 83 overall. I mean, this guy's like a lockdown defender. Uh, how do y'all feel about this, Knicks fans? Respectfully, I'm surprised he's not like a 85. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Raptors traded Barrett of RJ in a manual slowly for an 83 overall. Nah, bro, I feel like this should be higher, but hey, I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. OG in the booty at 83. And the Knicks is another team that won't win a championship for the next, mm, maybe 20 years at least. Carl Anthony Towns, a 87 overall. Now, I know as soon as this nigga drops 62 points, y'all are going to up his rating. But here's where you fucked up. They lost the fucking game. Carl Anthony Towns had 44 points at halftime. But in the second half, he completely shot them out the fucking game. Literally forcing shots to pad his stats. And it resulted in an L. All because of Carl Anthony Towns. Instead of going up a overall, he should have went down three overalls. You really thought you were him, Carl Anthony. You really thought you were him. Unlike Joel Embiid that scored 70, he actually won the game. Didn't sell his team for padding his stats. So this is actually inaccurate. Carl Anthony Towns has to respectfully be like an 85. You went out and scored 62 points for no reason. Just for the Wolves to get bounced most likely in the first round, but definitely the second round. Victor Dick. Went bananas is a fucking 88 overall. Fuck you, Ronnie. You dick sucking ass dads. He hasn't proved anything to be an 88 overall. Bro, do your knees hurt? Bro, back in the early 2000s, you literally had to be a Hall of Famer to be an 88 overall, bro. Bro, Wemby literally just got 70 points dropped on his head. Did you forget about that, Mike Wang? That Embiid literally just dropped 70 fucking points on the sperms? And remind you, the Spurs will only win 8 games this season. And you're telling me that Victor Dictor is an 88? Now, I'm no hater of Wemby. He's a great player and sky is the limit. But you guys are about to dick suck and make him a 95 by the end of the year. Bro, I'm sorry. You can't be an 88 overall if your team has only won like five games halfway through the season, bro. I don't care. You can't. You can't. You can't. Now, if the Spurs were at least in the playoff picture, I wouldn't even be on y'all's head right now, bro. But honestly, Victor is averaging pretty mid stats for what he's supposed to do. Like, he's doing impressive things, but this is what we all expected, bro. He's literally 7'6". He's not an 88 overall, Ronnie. I'm not letting this game get me out of character, bro. The servers still aren't even up right now, bro. That lets you know how bad this game is. And finally, Paul George. Before this update... PG-13 wasn't even a 90 fucking overall.
bro, it's clear as day that these 2K devs haven't watched a second of basketball all season. It's obvious that these 2K devs are just like Flight Reacts and only watch highlights, bro. They have no idea what's going on around the NBA. And I really hope in the next coming years, all you guys lose your fucking jobs. I hope you guys get put out of business and maybe NBA Live can make a return. But unfortunately, this is the only NBA licensed basketball game available to play right now. So we have to deal with this shitty ass game. Thanks, Ronnie and Mike Wang. It's a parade inside my city. No, 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 it's not, my nigga. It's definitely not a parade inside your city.